so in today's class so we are going to study about the boolean functions so in the previous classes we have studied about the number system so now we are going to study about the boolean function so this is an example of a boolean function so boolean function means so it consists of binary variables that is x y or z so it consists of binary variables and logical operators that is and operation not operation or or operation so it expresses the relationship logical relationship between the binary variables so boolean function expresses the logical relationship between the binary variables so it can have any variables that is any number of variables so here you have x y and z so this is an example of a boolean function so in the last class we studied about the boolean laws and boolean theorems so using that boolean laws and theorems we can reduce the boolean function so for example you take so your f is equal to a plus b into b plus c so you take this example this is a boolean function so in order you can implement boolean function using logical gates so how will you implement this function so a plus b is implemented using a or gate a is one variable b is an another variable and a plus b can be implemented using an or gate so a this is an a this is an variable b so using or gate you can implement a function a plus b next you have to implement a function b plus c so you take a b and c again you use an or gate you get an output b plus c so then what you have to do a plus b into b plus c so you have to and perform the logical and operation for a plus b and b plus c so you have to perform and operation so a plus b into b plus c you have to perform and operation so your output of a plus b and output of b plus c you are going to give it to an and gate and you get an output f so this is the implementation of your boolean function using logic gates so here how many gates you are going to use you are going to use two or gate and then an and gate so if you reduce this expression using boolean laws and boolean theorem means you may Uh, reduce the usage of number of gates so if before reducing you are using number of gates used here is three gates that is two or gate and then one and gate so if you are next is you if you if you can simplify this f means so let us see we can simplify or not so you take the same f is equal to a plus b into b plus c so uh, you multiply this so a into b so ab and a into c will give you ac plus b into b you give b into b plus b into c so this is the expansion so you know how to expand the two multiplication terms in max no so ab plus ac plus b into b plus bc so from the theorem we come to know what is b into b anyone tell me what is b into b that is we have studied in terms of x variable any variable x into x what is x into x x ma'am x x into x is x so you can reduce this as ab plus ac 
So plus B into B can be reduced as B plus BC. So next, you can write this as AB plus AC plus B you take outside. So if you take B outside, you can get 1 plus C. So always make it to the form of 1 plus any variable. So you have studied what is meant by 1 plus X. What is 1 plus X? It's 1, ma'am. 1 plus X is reduced to 1. So you can combine the terms so that you, you always make it in the form 1 plus. So it will be reduced to 1. So 1 plus C can be reduced to 1. So 1 into B you can write it as B. So now this can be written as AB plus AC plus B. So now you can combine A, uh, AB and B. Because if you take B outside, you can write it in the form of 1 plus A. Then you can reduce. So if you combine, for example, here you have A, B and A, C. If you combine uh, A, B and A, C, that is you take A outside and if you write B plus C means, B plus C means no use in it. So you have to combine in such a way that you should obtain 1 plus. Then only you can reduce the expression. So, you no need, uh, no need of combining AB plus AC because no use of it. If you take A outside, you will get B plus C. You cannot reduce B plus C. Is it clear? So, you, you have to uh, combine in such a way you can reduce. So, you reduce the AB and B. So, these two terms you reduce. So, what will happen? You B you take outside. You will get 1 plus A plus AC. So, 1 plus A, anything 1 plus, you will get the value of 1. So, 1 into B, you will get B plus AC. So, no further chance of reducing this expression. So, if you draw the logic gates for this, how will you draw? AC is your AND gate. So, A, C, you can combine using an AND gate and B is... You are going to perform R operation. That is, the A into C will give you A into C will give you A C, and B plus A C will give you the F. So, so this implementation as well as this implementation will give you the same output, but you have reduced the number of gates. So, in this, uh, if you are, ex, uh, ex, uh, that is, if you are implementing this expression, you need three gates. But if you are reducing using theorem and if you are expressing B plus AC, you will be using only two gates. So, that only you can simplify the Boolean expression in order to reduce the number of logic gates. So, here you are, you are only reducing one. In uh, by, uh, by If you are using complex uh, uh, ex expression, boolean function means, then you may reduce one or two. So, one or two uh, or uh, any number of gates. So, if you reduce the gates means, it will be, uh, that is a hardware implementation will be easier. So, that only you are going to simplify the boolean functions. Is it clear? Is it clear or not? Yes, ma'am. So, in questions, they may ask you Using theorems, simplify the Boolean functions. So, I will take another example. So, take an another example. So, f is equal to x y dash plus x y z the whole dash plus x y plus x y dash the whole dash is it clear so f is equal to x y dash plus x y z the whole dash plus x into y plus x y dash the whole dash you have. So, you have, you can simplify the uh, 
uh, this boolean functions so first you take the outer complement the whole complement you know you have so first eliminate the outer complement so actually by using de morgan's theorem you can eliminate the uh, complements that is according to de morgan's theorem your x plus y the whole bar will give you as so you have to uh, uh, make x as x bar and you have to make plus as into and y as y bar similarly if you have x y the whole bar means you have to make x as x dash into as plus and y dash y dash so this is the de morgan's law so using de morgan's law you can minimize the boolean expression so so you take this one so whole complement means you take this as one variable and this as another variable and in center you have a plus other plus so that is it is consider it as a plus b the whole bar so what is de morgan's law a plus b the whole bar will be a bar into b bar so you can write this as so a is the whole term that is x y bar plus x y z you have already one bar so bar the whole bar the bar bar will be get cancelled so you will get the x y dash plus x y z and plus will become into and you can write this as x into y plus x y bar the whole bar so is it clear the first step if you are not clear i will explain is it clear or not everybody yes ma'am so clear ma'am so uh, yeah. yeah yeah tell me so first step you are eliminating the outer uh, complement so if you are going to use de morgan's law so this term is one uh, a is one term and b is another term so a plus b the whole bar you can write it as a bar into b bar so a is already a bar so you, i am writing it as a so x y bar plus x y z and the second term you are, you are writing it as a complement and i am plus i am replacing it as into so next step next step x y dash plus x y z into so you can write this uh, as, that is you can reduce this complement that is x is now a into y plus x y dash is b that is here you are having a into b so you, now you are going to write a bar plus b bar so a bar is x bar plus y plus x y bar the whole bar so this is the next step is it clear so i am eliminating the uh, that is uh, out, uh, x into y plus x y bar the whole bar that is i am writing it as a bar plus b bar is it clear or not this step yes ma'am yes ma'am so next step x y bar plus x y z into x dash plus so you eliminate uh, this bar so this becomes uh, a now this becomes b now so this becomes y bar into x bar plus y is it clear so y i am writing it as no, y bar so y i am writing it as y bar plus i am writing it as into so x y bar the whole bar so i am uh, writing it as x as x bar into as plus and y bar as y is it clear yes ma'am so next step x y bar plus 
x y z then x bar plus u x bar y plus you have y bar y so what is y bar into y what is x into x bar what is the theorem zero. of zero. zero so you cut this because y into y bar is zero is it clear up to this is it clear or not yes ma'am so next step is x y bar plus x y z here i am having x bar as common you take 1 plus y so 1 plus y is 1 so 1 into x bar is x bar so next step will be x y bar plus x y z into x bar then you multiply this inside so you get x x bar y bar plus x x bar y z what is x into x bar 0 0 and here also x into x bar so zero this expression will give you zero value so if you implement this gate also whatever input you gave for give for x y z you will get the final output will be zero so so that only if you reduce this expression you get the final answer as zero so is it clear so not every function will be reduced to 1 or 0 it can all, it may also reduced to, to some variable also or it may also reduced to, to 0 or 1 is it clear so you have using mathematical you have to everything you have to minimize it and then you have to using laws you can combine either into a 1 plus format or if you could, you can combine into x x dash format so that x x dash will become 0 you can eliminate that term so the final expression will be that is further you cannot reduce reduce into any other minimum well literals is it clear so so you have to first minimize the outer bar so you minimize the outer bar using de morgan's law then you further reduce it so that you get the minimum number of variables is it clear yes ma'am so yes, ma uh, this is a sample uh, problem i have given so you have number of problems so i will uh, in the pdf is also it is available two or three problem is available or in i have uh, uploaded uh, morris mano book so in that you will be back you will be having an exercise problems so you can also solve that problems and you can verify the answer so actually most of the problems will be asked from the morris mano because morris mano is the prescribed textbook so you will be in at the back you will be having more number of exercise problems not solved problems exercise problems if you solve that problems and verify the answer at the back then you can solve the problem so solve more number of problems so that you will be confident with the uh, problems is it clear simplification so just mathematically you expand use the theorems whenever you use you can use the theorem use theorems simplify it to a minimum number of variables is it clear yes ma'am yes ma'am so next is f is a so f is a boolean function so complement of this function is the f dash so the some problem they may ask you to find the find the complement of a following boolean function so that is if they have given f means you have to find the f dash so that is the complement of a function is for a given f if you are finding f dash that is a complement so how will you find the f dash using de morgan's law you you can find the complement of a function so using de morgan's law you can find the complement of a function so take an example first i will take a simple example then i will uh, take a compl uh, complex problem and solve so 
So first to take a simple example that is x into y dash z dash plus So, for example, you take a uh, function f is equal to x into y dash z dash. So, what is your f dash means x into y dash z dash the whole dash is your complement. So, f is x into y dash into z dash where f dash is x into y dash z dash the whole dash. So, first you reduce, reduce the outer uh, dash. So, that is, so you consider this as A and this as B. So, A into B now can be written as A bar plus B bar. So, A bar is X bar plus B bar, Y dash, Z dash, the whole bar. So, this is the first step. So, now you can eliminate this bar. So, you can write this as X dash plus so, y dash becomes y into becomes plus and z dash becomes z. Is it clear? So, your final value will be x dash plus y plus z. So, this is your f dash. Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. So, the, using De Morgan's law, you can find the complement of a, any boolean function. So, f is given means you have to find f dash. So, f dash is equal to using boolean law. So, x is one term, y dash, z dash is one term. So, you, uh, so you find the complement for this. That is x bar plus y dash, z dash, the whole bar. So, now you eliminate, eliminate y dash, z dash, the whole bar. So, in that y dash is one, comp, uh, one term and z dash is another term. So, you can write this as y plus z. So, you get the final answer as x dash plus y plus z. So, this is the complement of any Boolean function. So, I will take an another problem. So, now you have f is equal to w x dash y plus x y dash plus w x z. So, now you have to find f dash. So, f dash is equal to w x dash y plus x y dash plus w x z the whole complement. So, you consider this as A, this as B one term and this as another term. So, now how you, how you can write? You can write this as A bar into B bar into C bar. So, you can write this as, so wait a minute. So, you can write this as w x bar y the whole bar into x y bar the whole bar into w x z the whole bar. Is it clear up to this? Is it clear or not? Yes, so, next you have to that is, you have to uh, eliminate this bar. So, how you can write? So, W can be written as W bar. W bar plus, plus X bar X can be written X as bar. X plus Y can be written as y. y bar. So, this is the first term. And what is the second term? 
x bar plus y x bar plus y and what is the third term w bar w bar plus z w bar plus z bar plus x bar plus z bar so this is the third term so now what you can do you can multiply the this term and this term so if they expand panina da either the cancel agun theriyum so you can expand this so w bar into x bar can be written as w bar x bar then w bar and y can be written as w bar y then then x into x bar can be written as what is x into x bar Zero. 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 You, can, you can cancel now itself. Plus x y, then plus y bar into x bar. X bar, then y into y bar. You can leave it as zero. Plus zero. So this is the. expansion of these two term and the third term will be w bar plus x bar plus z bar so now you have to expand these two so you have w bar x bar and you have w bar so actually what is w bar into w bar 1 1 W, 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 w x into x is x. So w bar x bar into w bar. You can write one w bar. So you can write this as w bar x bar. Is it clear? So w bar x bar, and here you have w bar. So one w bar you can write. So next is w bar x bar, and here you have x bar. So one x bar you can write it. It is enough. So Plus W bar X bar. Similarly, you have two W bar X bar. So one W bar X bar you can write. That is X plus X. You will have only X. So one one thing you strike it off. Is it clear? So X plus X you can write it as X. So here W bar X bar plus W bar X bar. In the next step, you have to going to write anyway only one W bar X bar. So you strike the second one. Then next multiplication is z bar. So you can write this as plus w bar x bar z bar. So first multiplication with the third part is over. So next you multiply with w bar y. W bar y into w bar will give you See the color has changed. So okay, so you get W bar W bar Y into W bar Y because W bar Y and W bar will give you W bar Y. Then plus W bar Y into X bar will give you. W bar y into x bar, then plus W bar y into z bar. Then what is the next term multiplication? X y. So next term multiplication will be x y W bar Then plus 
x y into x bar. What will you get x y into x bar? Zero. So zero. You leave that term. The next term will be x y z bar. Then take the last term. You will get y bar x bar w bar. So So w bar, x bar, y bar and the next term will be x bar, y bar into x bar. So one x bar you write. So x bar, y bar and the next term will be x bar, y bar, z bar. Is it clear? I have multiplied all the terms. I have expanded all the terms. Is it clear up to this step? Yes, ma'am. So, next step, yes, take W bar X bar common outside. So, I have draw. I, I will draw the line so that you can understand the next step. So, W bar X bar you take outside. So, this I am striking out. That is, I am striking out means I have taken already. So, I am writing it as. 1 here. So, 1 plus what are the other term? W bar, X bar. Here, here it is. So, I am taking Z bar here. So, I have used this also. I am striking it this. So, I am writing it as Z bar. And what helps W bar, X bar you have? So, here you have W bar, X bar. So, I am using it here as plus Y. So, I am writing it as plus y and the where you have w bar x bar. So, here you have w bar x bar another term. So, you I am striking it this. I am taking it as y bar and no other term w bar x bar. So, I am closing this. Is it clear what I have done here? So, w bar x bar I have taken outside. So, 1 plus wherever I have W bar X bar, I have uh, used that and I have striked it. That is, you should not use again and again. So, I, though that only I have striked it. Is it clear up to this step? Is it? Yes, so, next, what is the other variable? W bar Y. Y. So, you take W bar Y outside. So, W bar Y, I am using it as 1, 1 plus and where else you have, you have W bar Y here. So, I am using it as Z dash and where else you have W bar Y, that is all. So, you close it as. So, next term is X Y. So, X Y you take outside. Actually, this is W bar. So, you leave these two terms. I will I have made something wrong, I think. So, you take. Ma'am. Yeah, tell me. X, Y and W bar, this is. And the next term will be X, Y, X bar will be 0. And X, Y, Z bar. So actually W bar Y, I have taken, I, I, for W bar Y, I will be taking this also. Okay. So W bar Y, I will be taking plus X. I am taking this also. So this will be striked out and you have XYZ dash. So plus XYZ dash plus I am taking X bar Y bar outside. So plus x bar y bar outside. So, 1 plus 
z bar so this step are you able to understand i am taking w bar x bar outside so 1 plus z bar plus y plus y bar so i am i have used that terms i have striked out then i have taken w bar y bar in that i am using three terms so 1 plus z plus z bar plus x so i have uh, striked out that terms then next is x y z bar is uh, not in common so i have written as x y z bar plus x bar y i have taken outside i have write, written as 1 plus z bar so now then are you clear up to this step hello yes ma'am yes ma'am so yes ma'am now the next step is what is 1 plus anything that is 1 plus z dash plus y plus y dash anything 1 plus anything will give you the value of 1 so 1 into w dash x dash will give you w dash x dash plus 1 plus z dash plus x will give you 1 anything you are combining with 1 you will get 1 so 1 will give you w dash y plus x y z dash plus 1 plus z dash will give you 1 so you get the value as x dash y dash so this is the f dash now is it clear so w x dash y plus x y dash plus w x z your complement of that value is w dash x dash plus w dash y plus x y z dash plus x dash y dash is it clear so that is simply you have to expand using mathematical terms and then you can cancel the terms whichever that is y into y dash or x into x dash so if you have like that term you can put as zero and 1 plus anything you can put it as 1 so you have to combine in such a way that you get the value as 1 plus something like that so that only i am combining i am taking w dash x dash outside so i will get 1 plus anything terms will be cancelled out and i am taking w dash y outside and 1 plus anything will be get cancelled out and similarly i am taking x dash y dash and 1 plus z dash will be ma made it as cancelled out so you get this term only is it clear how you have obtained the reduced complement function yes ma'am so you will be having similar uh, problems so the the main thing is you have to expand and wherever possible you have to reduce the terms using loss is it clear is it clear or not clear ma'am so i think uh, 1215 i think so rest we will continue in the next class so next class we are going to study about sum of products and product of sum so sop and pos are very important concept so next class we will study about the sum of products and products of sum do you have any doubt you can ask now so if you have any doubt you can ask now and for tomorrow's quiz the portions will be up to taking complement of the function so you can reduce you have to reduce the boolean function using uh, laws and theorems and you can find the complement of any function using de morgan's law so up to taking complement you will be having for the quiz so number system 
and also boolean laws and theorems and simplification of boolean functions so any doubt in this 